Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful day on the outside, and we are right here at Sunshine's Corner. Let me put it like this. Things happen. This world today, you know, things are going to happen that you can't control, but that's mm -hmm. life, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but let, I want you to get ready, because today we're going to be talking with my friend Cindy Martin, and everybody knows Cindy in town because she does a lot. And today we're going to be talking about an event that she's got coming up. I like this because I put it on the store. I said, connect the chains and don't be the missing link. Right. I like that. Um, Welcome, Cindy. Good morning. Well, Welcome. Thanks for having me here today. Of course. And you know what, Cindy, I want to say to you, because I know your story. You've told me your story. And I know that I've watched you work this for years and years and years, yes. bringing awareness to the community in regards to just what you're talking about, making connecting with the chain. Mm -hmm. And uh, all I'm saying to you is continue to do what you're doing because it's great work that's needed. Thank you. It is really needed. And the event that you've got coming up, uh, can I go deep with you today? Yes. I want you to tell the story about your son and what, how you've been fighting this and working this for so many years. Wow. So everybody will understand what we're talking about and why the importance of the community, the safety that we're trying to get. Okay. My son, Matthew Sheldon Cox Jr., he uh -huh. was 19 years old when he was shot and killed, right, um, right here in Pensacola, Florida. Right. Um, since then, God has given him me the driving force to um, sit here today and, right. and make changes. Um, the worst part about it is that I have to relive this pain every single day. And it seems like it just happened yesterday. I can imagine. And every time an individual gets murdered or shot, it's like someone snatched Matthew up off the ground and buried him all over again. So that's the worst part about it. I mean, worst part about it. All of it. Oh is. my God! You know, I, 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 I can't imagine. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, that, that's got to be hard. And I see the pain. And I, I, it, I, I, when you talk about it from the first time when we talked about it, mm -hmm. and when you tell me now, I still see the pain because I know it's got to be. And uh, I want to commend you because you're reliving it to bring awareness to the community so that's we right. can try to break this chain. Yes. I love that. <laughs> I really love that. <laughs> Connecting the chains and don't be that missing link. That's right. And that's a lot because you have been spreading this word for a long time yes, and that's got to that's got to take strength to do that mm -hmm. and uh when you told me even how the closeness of what happened with your son yes right there in your house yes i thank god i didn't hear the gunshots um a lot of people tell me that you know i could still hear the gunshots uh -huh. and they were three four blocks away a half a mile away from what happened to my son uh-huh but it's affecting our communities and our families. Yes, it is. And it's causing a ripple effect throughout our communities. People who heard the gunshots have been affected, who saw what happened, if they saw it on TV, uh -huh. um, if they know somebody who got shot or heard a conversation about it, it's, it's causing our members in our community to have PTSD. Oh my God. It's like a cancer that's spreading. Oh my God. And I talk about that all the time. And hurt people hurt people, and that's what's going on. Oh, uh, hurt people will hurt, hurt people. people. Uh huh. Because we it's a mental health problem. Oh my Jesus. Okay, I know you were telling about because you got an event coming up. Yes. And this event is going to be at Brownsville Community Center. Yes. Um, uh, and it's going to take place in August. Mm -hmm. But however, I want to get this out there early so yes. we can spread the word because I need, I think the community needs to support this. Yes. Uh, reason I say that you've got someone there that's going to be talking about mental health. Yes. You've got people there, other victims. Yes. And uh, your keynote speaker is Trayvon Martin's mom. Yes. I mean, so she's coming into Pensacola. And I noticed this because I follow you. Thank you. I follow you. I can tell you where you've been taking pictures the whole oh, nine yards. Oh, wow, yes. Yes. But no, I can see that you and Trayvon Martin's mom have built a strong relationship. Yes. And um, everybody know who Trayvon Martin is. That's Trayvon Martin is the young man who was killed. Mm -hmm. uh, the baby, really, yes. uh, that was killed. Mm -hmm. And um, how she has connected with you, because she's been to Pensacola before. Yes. <laughs> I mean. Yes, that's how I met her. Right. Same. And I mean, to tell that story. But I want you to see, we were talking of how it affects you that this is something you never get over, mm -hmm. which I can imagine that you never ever can deal with this because this is your child. And when you say mental health, when people who have the guns, and I was, it, it, I, I hear this because I know that when I had on the show a few weeks ago, we had Hassan and um, mm -hmm. a bunch of people were talking about mental health and how they all connect. And whereas people don't really take that step to get the help. 
I mean, for the ones who are carrying the guns. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And I mean, so how, what, what do you say to those people? And I mean, how do you, what, I mean, in your message when you're fighting this battle, how do you, what do you say to them? Well, I'm gonna tell you this. I've talked to a lot of youth in our community and I've asked them, um, what is it that would take you off the streets uh -huh. to make you stop selling drugs or hustle or whatever you're doing? And they say, Miss Cindy, we never had an opportunity. Y'all don't have opportunities for us. So no one laid a path before them. So they're just making their own path and they're trying to feed their families. Really? Yeah, they're trying to feed their families and they want to be like everybody else. Um, they don't have anyone to, you know, to tell them, hey, you're going to be a great person. Uh -huh. You know, maybe their father was in prison. So they don't have no hope. Or their mother, you know, might have been on drugs or in prison or just not present. They have the grandmothers that are raising them. Wow. So they... Nobody ever created a path for them. So and they're, uh, as if they're trying to create, so they want to do it the quick way, thinking that's going to be the way that's going to be successful. Yeah. But when we see that happening, and we know that it's causing such a ripple effect. Oh my God. What a ripple, just, I mean, just yesterday I was looking at the news, we were talking about the one that was, somebody jumped over the fence. I oh, mean, well, that was ridiculous. I knew, <laughs> but that was right there off of what, Massachusetts? Well, the lady, she got shot in her neck. Um, they said she got two, two bullets, um, but they caught the guys going t towards Pace. Uh -huh. Yeah, two of the guys, or three of them, jumped over the bridge in the water. <laughs> K-9 dog jumped after them, it's kind of crazy, but it oh, upset that was a me. Bridge. They jumped in the- They jumped in the water. Oh um, my God, so and the dog got right in the bottom. That's right. Um, they have what you call the shots fired program with the uh -huh. sheriff department. So as soon as they heard it, they came right away. Okay, so what do you, so so nobody explain that to, to me about the, the shots fired. I don't it's some type of program that they have with the sheriff's office. Uh huh. If um, the gun, sh if they hear gunshots, they, I guess they got cameras uh -huh. or something. Right. Um. Then they can respond quickly. If nobody calls the police, they're gonna show up anyway. So you don't have to call them to come. Really? Yes. Yeah. So is that certain areas that they have? Or is it just it's all throughout the Scambia County? Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that because I know over at Aries, that area over there. Oh, they got cameras everywhere. All I'm gonna over tell there. you something. <laughs> I had an Easter egg hunt over there one time. Uh-oh. Baby, I, I didn't go back. I mean, I mean, they were throwing really? eggs at me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I mean, really. I said, oh, my God. You know how I, I usually can talk to a child and say, uh-uh, don't do that, right? Right. Those eggs were coming at me, and oh, I said, no. oh, my God. But, you know, I don't give up hope. I just didn't go back to get the eggs on that Right, day. right. And mm -hmm. I, I, because we, we got to come together to try to make a difference with that. Yeah. But, I mean, it, it, it's so amazing to me. And I want you today, friends, if you're listening, if you're sitting, for those who are, thank you so much for, I get the inboxes that you're enjoying the show. I want you to be a part of this because this affects all of us. It affects you. It may not be your child, but it affects you just as well. Call us up at 850-432-7768. Let's talk to Cindy about what's going on. Let's talk to what she needs to make this uh, program that she's got coming up a total success so that we can yes. make a difference in the community. Mm -hmm. You can text at that same number, 850-432-7768. But the fact of it is, I believe, and I say this all the time, if we put all of our resources together, yes. Cindy, there ain't nothing that we can't do. That's right. You and know, I, it's not about the I, it's about us. It's about we. And if, I, that's why I'm calling this connecting the change because I feel like the mothers, if we all get foundations in the name of our children, we can bring more resources into the community okay. because we're steady losing our resources. Absolutely. And so, I mean, go ahead. I'm, I'm just so no, amazed. It's just no, but you, you're doing such a great job. Mm -hmm. And I mean, and and to see you fight this fight, and mm -hmm. you know, you you said to me when we were getting started, you said it's not, it feels just like it was yesterday. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, unbelievable. I don't know how to handle that. And I just say, and I want to say this right there when you think about that. This all stems around this. I want to send a personal shout out to Roy Jones Jr. I want to send a personal message to him. I don't know what you're feeling, but I know that you're hurting. But I just want you to know the community is behind you, that we love you, we appreciate you, and whatever we can do, now I'm gonna use an I here, whatever I can do to help you, reach out to me. 
I'll make that happen because you know he just went through a tragic loss. Yes, gun violence. Gun, yes. I mean, it's it's it's, it's so sad, and uh, mm-hmm. I just want him to know that we understand, we feel the, your pain. Yes. So let's come together, to even help that. Yes, and um, it it brings tears and makes my heart. I mean, when just flutter. When I think about these young people that I've been around, I was telling Bill yesterday, this young man just come to my house, him and this twin, right, for my, with my son. Oh, wow. And it's just like, wow, I can't believe that this is happening because right. I know it's painful. Right. But um, if we don't come together, we got to figure out something, mm-hmm. Cindy. Yes. We got to. That's why I'm having this uh, gun violence awareness event. Mm-hmm. It's given me the opportunity to build a cohesive relationship with other families and the community who are suffering from trauma and tragedies. Uh-huh. I take this personal. Since Matthew was killed, I, I, I just feel like I, God put my foot on the gas and right. just going. Right. And so there's a lot of people that's walking in my shoes. A lot of them need help. A lot of them need to be saved. A lot of them are dealing. And I don't want them to fall into mourning because I was stuck in the trauma story of my son's murder for seven years and I eventually came out of it. And I don't want anybody, because it can fall into mourning. And when you fall into, grief is a natural organic process, but mourning they have you where you don't want to give up, where you just want to say, hey, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. Okay, now say that again, now you said grief and what's the difference? Grief is a natural organic process. It gets better with time. I don't know how long it's gonna take, right. because it's been 12 years for me and I right. got this much closer, even right. though the young man that killed my son was caught. It made me feel about this much better. Right. That's it. Right. <laughs> um, morning, it'll have you where you don't want to even get up out the bed. And so I have other mothers, I have friends that grieve themselves to death of a broken heart. Um, really? Keishwan Starworth, he was 16 years old. Who was? Keishwan Starworth. Uh huh. He was 16 years old. Someone shot him in the back of the head twice, set the car on fire, and the car just engulfed in flames, and he was in there. He was burned beyond re- recognition. After and they happened, killed him? Yes. That happened right there by the jailhouse on St. Catherine Street off of Pace Boulevard. And so that's why I'm bringing awareness. There are so many people that don't know this. I, I work in Brownsville, and the people in Brownsville have never heard about it. Me neither, and I'm out there. Right, and that's why we're bringing awareness. We're bringing families there that have suffered, you know, tragedies and trauma, may have lost a loved one to violence. For some reason, mothers who um, have lost their children to gun violence gravitate to me. But my organization is for mothers who shared a common core experience of grieving the death of a child, no matter how they lost a child, through advocacy, counseling and educational services, we shape a healthy environment for our youth between the ages of eight and 18. Okay. Building a positive le- legacy from the passing of our sons and our daughters. Right. So. Oh my God. Okay, so with, with your with your uh, your organization, mm-hmm. how do people get involved with you? Um, if they wanna help, look, let's say that I got somebody wanna help you with this. How, how what would they do? Wow, my phone number um, is 850. Two two one eight four six seven. It's on the flyer, and I have it posted on Lemons to Lemonade right. Facebook page. That flyer right there. Yes. Okay. Lemons to Lemonade Facebook page. Um, Hassan Hills. Yes. With youths left behind, and myself, and my organization again is Lemons to Lemonade. We are sponsoring this event, and so together, it's not on the flyer. It should later on we're gonna have another flyer where make you sure can, I get it right where you can scan the flyer and you can make a payment through okay PayPal through um, cash app mm-hmm. maybe chime mm-hmm. and Venmo I don't know we're going right now we're setting that I understand. up and so if they want to make a donation and they want to text the uh, write-off they will have to make the check to Hassan Hills for this event right other than that well, it has to be in the memo. I got you. Yeah, for a tax deductible. Oh, wow. I mean, it's good. Now, Hassan, I tell you, mm-hmm. he's doing a lot. I mean, oh I'm God. glad that you guys have hooked up because yes. he is just like, hey, Hassan, he has done so much. I mean. He's always busy. Always. He's but right, he right now, he's it, on the trip. When he told me his story, <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, oh, my God. 
He is doing it great. But I, it's a great thing. But all I'm saying to you, though, Cindy, with this, let's say if I got a family over here that do not know how to reach out, they want to talk to somebody because they've gone through the same thing that you've been going through. Mm -hmm. They can just reach out to you by phone? By oh. phone. A lot of uh, mothers reach out through Messenger. Okay. Because it's so much easier. You can see who's calling. Exactly. You know, I can see them. They can see me. It's like, exactly. okay. And so they tell me they lost a child, too. But we learn from each other's experiences. We exchange coping mechanisms. Right. We do a lot together. And like right now, we're having a private event. I don't My know if I already you. said that. Did I say that already? Yeah. We're having a private <laughs> event for the mothers who have lost children, no matter how you lost a child. It will be from 4.30 to 5.30 at the right. Brownsville Community Center, right. August the 3rd, 2024, in about a month from right. now. Right, give you time to get there. I'll give us time, give you time to get there. And um, it's going to be a private meet and greet for mothers. We're going to be, it's just our little space. And I think I want to talk special. to you about it. I see some people you got on there that's going to be a part of that because I oh, know yeah. some of them. Uh -huh. And I want to tell that story that you were talking about with that young lady. If that We won't have to call a name, but what she did and how she's dealing with that. You stay close because, look, Cindy's got a lot to tell us about all that she's doing in the community. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do right here at Sunshine's Corner each and every weekday. So tell somebody. Tune in now. We're talking something you need to be aware of right here. Sunshine's Corner on Blab TV. Empire Truck Sales, located at 2255 West Detroit Boulevard in Pensacola, is your Freightliner, Western Star, Detroit Diesel, and Cummins dealer for Northwest Florida. Open seven days a week, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., Saturdays and Sundays, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., providing sales, service, and parts. Empire Truck Sales is also your Oasis dealer for Freightliner custom chassis RV and motorhome repairs. Running I-10 will get you in. Many who consider facial plastic surgery are concerned their results will look unnatural. But with over 20 years of serving the Pensacola community, his thousands of satisfied patients have made Dr. Derek Jones a trusted reconstructive and facial plastic surgeon known for industry-leading results that look natural. Call 850-484-FACE to schedule a consultation at one of our locations in Pensacola and Gulf Breeze. I'm Dr. Derek Jones. Trust your face to a facial plastic surgeon. The Moise Glass and Crick Calibration Services is a one-stop shop because you can come get your windshield replaced and right behind that replacement at the same appointment we will calibrate the cameras and when you leave everything's ready to go. There's no need to go to the dealership or there's no need to come back for another appointment. We just take care of it at one time. We put the customer first and we strive to do everything right the first time. Lloyd's Glass and Correct Calibration Services, your one-stop shop with same-day service. Animal Allies is looking for volunteers and there are many ways that you can help. From taking care of cats to using your computer and social media skills, any and all assistance is greatly appreciated. We have morning and afternoon shifts every day or help at adoption events. You could even foster a kitty at home. And it counts towards community service hours for bright futures. Find Animal Allies Florida on Facebook and Instagram or go to aaflorida.org slash volunteer. because I want to welcome Cindy back because she's done a great job, uh, is uh, doing a great job. And we want to, well, we got a phone call coming in right now. Let's see who this is going to talk to us from this morning. Uh, good morning. Hello. Hey, good morning. How are you doing today? Hey, Hassan, how are you? Oh, wow. I'm fine. I'm just calling in to let you know that I'm just amazed at how the community is coming together and coming on the show and bringing forth so much useful information our community. Oh, no, thank you. I tell you, and Cindy's right here. She was nervous or something. I said, no, she's got this. <laughs> but you yeah, know, she got it. She's got, and you know, I, I want that. I'm pleased to see that you're working with her on this event y'all got coming up in uh, August. Yes, I'm going to work with her. I just got a lot going on, and uh, once I get done with this field trip with the boys for today, I'll be able to pour more into it and get out and do some advertising and Reach your community partners because it's a well needed uh, thing inside our community dealing with gun violence. I mean, absolutely. Did I hear you say that you are on a field trip? Yes, my uh, part of my program design with with my young men that I serve. Uh -huh. uh, if they maintain a 2.0 grade point average throughout the school year, 
and they go the last nine weeks of school without having a referral, and they write a 200-word essay on what they have learned through peer, peer group empowerment, we take them on a field trip for academic achievement. Oh, that is so great. Didn't I tell you I always doing things, man? You got you 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 got the right ball. And I'm so glad that you're working with Cindy because I've known Cindy for quite some time. And the fact that I know what she has gone through and for her to continue to walk to be that person to stand up for this. I I'm I'm just so glad yes. that she's doing what she's doing. She she's an amazing woman and it is 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 stories and situations like hers that can connect that can connect the chain. See, oh. if we can get everybody inside the room yes. that has experienced grief or loss mm -hmm. or trauma, and we can all heal off each other. Mm -hmm. Because Cindy you know what it looks like to wake up one morning to call her son name and he's not there. Okay. Hassan don't. Okay. But we need more Cindy's in the building, at the table, and in the room. Right. Amen. So we'll call it. Come on, let's say that again, Hassan. We want more people to get ready for August the 3rd yes. so they can come in that room to speak loudly with yes. Cindy. Yes. Yes, oh. yes. We need you in the room. We need you in the building. We are a family. It takes a village. We are a part of that village. And together, we can heal together. That's right. Absolutely. We can heal together. Absolutely. Don't be the missing link. That's right. <laughs> I, I, I'm with you yeah. right there. All, I got to get, the, well, the closer we get, Hassan, I want you and Cindy back on so we can talk even more about that, okay? All right. It's always a pleasure and an honor. All right. Thank you, doll. Have a great day. And have All fun right. with those kids. You as well. All right. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. Everybody, I tell you, that Hassan real, and he is really real, okay? Yeah. That's all I got to say. Mm -hmm. But you were saying something that you said that you were, you, you were memorized that you wanted to say about, I think it was something similar to what he was talking about, getting everybody in the room for all the moms. that. Yes, building cohesive relationships with families who are suffering from trauma and tragedies. Right. And so I'm trying to get all the mothers there that have lost children. I think that's good. So we... Like I said, we heal from each other's experiences. We exchange coping mechanisms, and we need to be able to identify each other. When exactly. I go to certain churches, I can, like, okay, that's... Go right ahead. That's fine. That's do what you need to do. Shonda, okay. I know them. Mm -hmm. I'm familiar with their stories. I'm mm -hmm. watching the news. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think we all should do that. And I'm connected with mothers across the nation. Right. Um, through Circle of Mothers and the Trayvon Martin Foundation. Right. And so I want to bring my community in. That's why I'm having her to come here so right. they can be a part of the Trayvon Martin Foundation. Absolutely. And when we have our marches about gun violence in Miami, we can get a bus and drive up there. Oh, you have, and where? Um, Trayvon Martin's birthday, they have a march for him, his family does. And she we drive there week. every year. And so I want to actually do a retreat where she can come here, like a, a two-day retreat. Absolutely. So I'm asking the community to help, of course. Um, we're putting on this event, and it's private. I mean, not private. <laughs> it's a free event. <laughs> Absolutely. And we want everybody to come. And it's hard because we're trying to make it, you know, I want everybody to come. And I feel like if I charge money for a gun violence event, they're not going to come. Right. Why should they have to pay? They watch it on the news. But right. You hit and miss, it's like hit and miss. You don't hear about all the stories, just like you didn't hear about Keyshawn Stallworth. Exactly. Did I already talk about Keyshawn? Uh, Keyshawn Stallworth, he was 16 years old. Right. He was shot in the back of his head. God. And then they came back and set him on fire. So the whole car was engulfed in flames. So he was burned beyond recognition. The car, when it, when it, the day before it was red when he was driving the next day it was gray and everything had then melted down all you can see was the metal so his mother never got to see him again but she died of a broken heart she was stuck in her depression i don't want that to happen to another mother so if i can connect with them in some type of way it's going to benefit us all yes it will listen i want to i'm going to put out a plea right now for if you know of a mother who is dealing with something if you're dealing with it Call us now. I want to get you connected with Cindy. If you know of a situation that needs to be talked about, let's break the chain. Okay? That's right. Okay. Don't let's be the missing link. Chain. Don't be just that. Don't be that missing link. That's right. Okay. Break every chain. I like that. And mm -hmm. uh, 850 432 7768. This is the opportunity that you can talk. I talked to Eric Martin. You know Eric, who's always with me. Yes. Okay. He deal. he works with um, social. Uh, he is a social worker. Mm -hmm. And he tells me some of the things with the people that he has to deal with and some of them have been in situations like you. Right. But they're not seeking the help that they need. All we're saying to you is this, there is help. 
I know there's no way I could say that I know what Cindy is feeling. Mm -hmm. I, my compassion goes out to Cindy, mm -hmm. but I do not know what Cindy is feeling. I pray to God I never have to feel that. But, but the fact of it is we can still come together as this community to help mm -hmm. because there are so many other mothers out there who are dealing that's not talking about it. And yeah. I, I, so she, we, she raised her hand. Yeah, because we can be the change agents in our community. That's right. Nobody asked us how we feel. We need to have a round table discussion. We do, and talk about this. I don't care. We can invite the sheriff department. Exactly. And we can invite all the elected officials. Well, we, let's work on that, Cindy. Mm -hmm. I'm with I you. I want to have that next. Okay, let's, let's work on that because I believe in that. Mm -hmm. I believe that if, if these situations, if we don't talk about them, we're not going you anywhere. You got to talk about You can't them. just sweep it under the rug because it's real. And it's happening every single day. I was on my way this morning when I was talking to Eric as I was coming to work. And uh, I, we were talking about how it is now that's all you hear. Every single day is something else like that mm -hmm. uh, with the gun violence. Mm -hmm. What do, I mean, I heard you say this too, that we've got to put, you've got to have some Jesus in this thing, okay? Oh, we got, yes. Oh, look, if you don't put Jesus in the forefront, because mm -hmm. I, I like this, if you don't know Jesus, you're for anything. Right. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think that we have taken that so much out of, and we're leaving the great component that we need to keep us led in the right way, mm -hmm. because we're losing our children every day. They have to be out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But it's going so rapidly here in Pensacola. And I didn't find out that suicide and all that was so high in this area here. Oh, yeah. And I, I say to you, what I, I see on here you also have um, Terry Marshall. Mm -hmm. And she's going to be one. Now, everybody knows Pastor Marshall's wife. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. I did not know she was a, a licensed I mean, I did not know that for media, for, uh, for mental health. Yes, I want to use her um, for my organization to come in and do group counseling, or she may want to do one-on-one -on -one counseling. Um, so a lot of money that I'll be raising would be to help her and, you know, her endeavors. Right. Um, but she's an awesome lady. She brought Tr uh, Sabrina here, Trayvon Martin's mom, in 2014. So that's how I actually met Sabrina through her program, I think it's WAMS, where uh -huh. are my sisters? Yeah. Yeah, so that's how I met her, and some kind of way, my story got around the world. Um, I was helping some children um, in Morris Court Park, and they were gonna shut the park down and build some homes. Oh, no. So I interrupted that program, <laughs> and so Sue Strong did a, I had the kids holding up signs, we wanna live, we wanna live, and. We want a park and we want it now. And so I really have all this on video. I'm gonna show it to you one day, it's so we, we funny. We gotta do that. And so they played a major part in this. And uh -huh. what they learned is that they can be a part, um, um, I can't think of it. But I anyway, understand. They, <laughs> they, um, it was great. So my story got around that I was trying to save children in a park and it went national. I, see, when God brings it to you, yeah, he's gonna take you through it. That's I mean, right. if he if he puts it there for you, he it may we may not, we're not understand. Mm -hmm. And look at this. Well, he tells us in his word that he will take a bad situation mm -hmm. and make something good out of right. it. Right. Okay. Even with the fact that you lost your son, mm -hmm. when you lost your son, but look what mm -hmm. by losing your son, the awareness is bringing to help so many others to yes. try to prevent yes. what happened to your child mm -hmm. and somebody else. And I think God can take things like that. That's why he's given you the strength to, to, to be able to do this. Right. So, because there's so many out there that's not talking about this, Cindy. Yeah, that's right. There's so many that's not talking about it. And, and it, it's not that you're feeling that we understand the pain, but I believe that I, when you gave me the difference in grief. And mourning. And mourning. Mm -hmm. I mean, grief is something that's a natural mechanism we got to go through, but mourning it's something else that can take you away from here if you that's allow right, it. That's right. And that's you, amazing. You get to the point where you don't want to do nothing. It's like you shut yourself down. You shut away from everybody. My God, well, let's go see. into we, a depression. It, 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 it's amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm stunned, Cindy. As long as I've known you, I'm seeing another side of you today. Mm -hmm. As long as I've known you, because. Let's get what somebody want to ask you something. Hold okay. on, we got a phone call. <laughs> hmm. Good morning. Morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm doing fine. How about you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm good. 
in every area except our teenagers today. Me and you both. You know, when the welfare system came in and broke the family, I knew that. I was a 16-year-old when I first heard about the welfare system. Uh huh. And I was at a cousin's house, and uh, they were telling her about welfare, but they could not know that her and the children's father was together. And at 16, I said to myself, what would I do if dad wasn't at home? Oh, my. And today, to, to see the breakdown of the family, it's just beyond belief. And that's a ploy of the demon to destroy our community. I agree. And we talk, and we talk about the church. See, we got to teach our children fornication. That's why we're coming up with all these children. There were no fathers home. People going with anybody. I was out there as a young man. I'm 81 year old now. And thankfully, I didn't have a lot of children. But all the different women I went with because I was a sinner right out there. I hear you. you know? Yes, you made me smile, so but sin, I understand. Sin, sin is the problem. And uh, I, I see where Louisiana is going to post the Ten Commandments. We don't only need to post the Ten Commandments. We need to teach the Ten Commandments. Oh, Lord, yes. I agree with you there now. <laughs> so so we, we really got to get serious because this is not getting any better. We, when you got 9, 10, 12, 13, 14-year-olds killing each other, because one walked across the street My or, God. or in a different neighborhood or disrespected me. We got to we we got to get serious about this uh, 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 having children out of wedlock. We got to teach our people. Mm -hmm. We've got to teach our people. Some people out of our community is not going to teach us. Those are the ones that's got in, got us in the shape that we're in. Right. We got an enemy out there. I look back at Black Wall Street. The African came out of slavery, shining, building communities. Then the terrorists came in, and they haven't stopped. That's right. They got down to the point of breaking our family down with this welfare system. How can you come into a person's home and say, look, we'll help you, but you can't have this man here to help you discipline your children? That's a, that's a sin against God itself. He said, children are for the marriage relationship, not fornication. They even used the word, talking to a friend the other day, they used the word bastard. You know, come on. Yeah. You know, we got to we gotta get serious and, and, and see, too, we got too many false teachers in the church house that's discouraging people out here collecting money. The gospel of Jesus Christ is not a piggy bank. Uh oh, come so, on now. Come, okay, you're making me think about Gino Jennings now. <laughs> Uh, but he's telling the truth. I, 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 but you are making so many great points, and I agree with some of the, the things that you're saying because I do believe that um, everybody's now uh, is, is so free. When I say so free, but there's no uh, morals there. There's no teaching there to teach to bring back the foundation, I think, that held the family together. And I think this thing with this free with the kids with these guns, I don't understand how that is just taking over so it, it's just they're over. Broke, they broke the household. Oh. I needed my father there to teach me. Mama, I love my mama, but I love my dad. I need my dad to keep me straight. Right. Absolutely. I need my father. That's why God said fornication is wrong. That's why it's wrong because you're going to come up with children that's going to grow up without this uh, direction and they're going to destroy society. Mm. These people are not going to keep watching these children running around killing. They, one day they're going to round them all up. Just like they put them all in prison now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's a mess. But uh, Absolutely. there's hope. Baby. But uh, we, we got to encourage our people to do for ourselves. Ain't nobody else going to do it. The only thing right. they're doing is playing tricks on us. <laughs> I tell you. Every time you got 13-year-old children that are killing and I take my grandson to the park. I got a seven-year-old grandson, it makes my day. But uh, I go to the park and it's just shameful the way some of these young ladies talk to their children. Right. And the things they say in front of the children, they drink and smoke in front of the children. And then the young men, when I see some of them in the park with their children, they pass down to their knees. They walk around looking like, you know, they're, they're not in touch with reality. Right. 
So we got to help ourselves. That's all I got, baby. And God bless you for speaking and give me an opportunity to uh, shake some of this off because I'm really disgusted. Thank you so much. I lived in Chicago 40 years, and when I was a kid, I could walk from one end of the city to the other without any fear. I agree. Well, I, I thank you for calling in. I really want that we needed to hear that, and I appreciate you because what Cindy's doing is a great thing. We thank you so much, sir. Okay, baby. Thank you. Uh huh. Bye bye. I, I mean, everybody, we've got a job to do, and I, I mean, everything is so many things that we got to do. We got to pull these components together so we can oh, get yes. this community together. We mm -hmm. got to pull all this together because some of the things he made the tidbits up. I, I think if we come put all this together, it will be a better place. That's right. I strongly agree with that. And um, Cindy was looking at me, and I could just see it in her face, and it was like, and she's saying, okay, yeah, same stuff we're talking about, same thing that we're <laughs> going to get these people here to talk about that's coming up. So you can be a part of this solution. Let's make sure that we help Cindy. I mean, Cindy's going to need help with this event right here. Let's help. And it's like, what we have to do together to do that? It can't just talk to talk. we got to walk the walk. That's right. Don't be that missing link. Don't be it. Come on. Break that chain. That's right. <laughs> we'll be back with even more. So if you've got something you would like to share with us, please call us at 850-432-7768. Sunshine's Corner with Cindy Martin. We'll be right, right back with more. Need a new outfit for a special occasion? Look no further than Viola's Men's Apparel. Viola's has been providing the latest styles and accessories in Pensacola for over 20 years now. We have clothes for every occasion and we offer consultations and group discounts. You can trust that our care, quality, and class will be unmatched. Viola's Men's Apparel, for all of your men wear needs. This is Wayne at Icon Automotive in Robertsdale, Alabama, and I wanted to tell you more about our powertrain warranty forever. It comes with any vehicle we sell that has 80,000 miles or less at no additional cost to you. We put our vehicles through a tough safety and mechanical inspection before it can have the powertrain warranty forever, giving you a peace of mind with your purchase. This warranty is good anywhere in the country and it covers 100% of parts and labor with no mileage limit and is covered as long as you own the vehicle. Come pick out your dealership car at non-dealership pricing with the powertrain warranty forever at Icon Automotive. Watch a new episode of Crime Stoppers Wanted Fugitives every Friday at 6 p.m. Hosted by Sergeant Melanie Peterson and David Craig. Your tips may be eligible for a cash reward. Featuring items about officer training, various aspects of police work, and crime prevention information. You'll hear about upcoming family-friendly engagement events as well. Don't miss Crime Stoppers Wanted Fugitives every Friday at 6 p.m. Go back to being a kid again. Head on over to Bubba's Sweet Spot. We've got house-made caramels, fudge, pralines, marshmallows, and lots and lots and lots and lots of chocolate. Looking for more traditional candy? We've got you. Our walls are covered head to toe in all the classics, from taffy to gummies and lollipops to gumballs. And don't forget our ice cream. With endless toppings and dipped cones, we've got what you're craving. Let us take you back to a time when every problem could be solved with candy at Bubba's Sweet Spot. have cameras and welcome back to the hottest <laughs> spot in town i tell you when we, i tell you when you got a hot topic like this you just can't do them but keep going we're going to go straight to the phone Cindy, because somebody's right there waiting to talk with us today uh good morning good morning sunshine this is ardelia hey ardelia how's hey, it going ardelia. hey i'm good hi cindy hey and i tell you uh, ardelia i mean thank you for calling to share some of your thoughts with us Okay, I just want to let Cindy know, and you also, that I will be sharing this all it, to every mother that I know. Just because it hasn't happened to you doesn't mean that it won't happen to you. If you are a child, if you are the mother of a child, no matter what age it is, it can still happen to you. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that's With right. this world we living in today, it can happen to you. And I will, I'll make a poster and share it with my family and friends. And I'm going to post it every day on my little Facebook page. <laughs> Come on, so Ardelia. So people <laughs> will see it. And, and until it's on my calendar, so I will be there. Share my and flyer, I too. Bring, I hope to bring everybody that I know to come help support 
opinion and her efforts because this is something that mothers need to know. Mm -hmm. And mothers are powerful people, just so you know. Amen. We are powerful. Change That's agents. right. Change we, agents. we love deep and we and we are powerful. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I just want to let her know that I will be sharing this to every mother that I know so they can come out and support her efforts and make it a great success. And Pensacola will see us come together Amen. as mothers. Okay? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Adelia. You're welcome. All righty. Bye-bye, okay. love. Everybody, I tell you, see, this is what I'm talking about, coming together. That's right. I mean, if you don't have the monetary ne the goods, there are other ways you can come together to be a part to help. Yeah, I need uh, volunteers. She need volunteers? Okay, you all better come on get to talking to me. 850-432-7768. <laughs> we need volunteers for this. Serena Fulton, Trey Barnes Martin mom is coming to Pensacola to talk to you about the things that are happening. So don't just sit around. Let's fill that place to capacity. That's right. Let's fill it to capacity coming up in August. And they have to sign up on Eventbrite. Okay. Because Hassan wants to have food. Uh-oh. So, which means we have to have a count. And right now, the so far, uh, over 100 people have signed up. So by the time I do all the advertising <laughs> that I plan to do, it might be too late. But oh. Leroy Williams is the site manager, so he might be able to open a balcony. That's so. what I'm saying. Let's fill the top and bottom. We're going to do that, Cindy, 300 okay? on the floor. Mm -hmm. No more. That's, it needs that's pushing it. it. But we need the more. We, let's turn them. Let's have some. Maybe we got to turn. We got another call. We got somebody else want to talk to you again. Oh, wow. Come on. <laughs> Every time I get ready, good to say something, I appreciate that. That's right. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? I'm great. I know you don't know who this is. Hey, Judy Cook. Yes, it sure is. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. I just called to tell you that I'm watching you this morning for the first time, and I want to volunteer to help Miss, uh, Miss Marsha. Okay. Ex well, then i tell you what, Judy. We're going to make sure that uh, I give her your name so she'll be able to get in touch with you, okay? Okay, right now I'm in the, I'm in the hospital, but, uh, I'm okay. in Park Place. Okay. So, I met her before. I've been out here a year. Okay, so, well, I, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure we contact you, Judy, because you know I know you. Okay, Okay. give me a call. I hear the nursing home, and uh, I give you my home phone. I'm going to have it on my hand now. Okay, well, we'll make sure we get it. Okay, baby. Thank you so much. Thank you, Judy. Uh, you're welcome. All right, bye-bye. Everybody, you see, everybody that's watching this show, she's in the calling from the hospital, so you mm -hmm. know there's power in what you're doing. Yeah, she was that's, very, This mm -hmm. is what I'm talking about. People want to help. Look, let's come together and make a difference. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Hi. Hi there. This is, um, my name is Charlene, and I just want to say this is such a good topic. I just mm -hmm. found the station because I have a TV with an antenna, mm -hmm. but I'm listening to Linda with Cindy because my sister just lost her son November of last year, and I don't think she has really grieved the loss, and oh. I know it's something that will forever be in her heart, but I don't think she has really grieved the way, you know, you should, I don't know. I understand. Cindy, you know what? As you talk, I see Cindy's eyes welling up right now. I mean, what, what do you want to say to her, Cindy? She's not alone. There are so many people in the same situation that she's in. We yeah, put a mask, it, we put a mask really on hurting. and we come outside and we act like everything's okay and it's not okay. But what's going to heal her is another mother that she can spend time with. There's probably questions that she wants to ask, but she don't have anybody that she can trust. How can she get in touch with, how can we get her sister in touch with you? What's her, um... What's her name? I beg your pardon? What's your sister's name? Pat. I may have met her. Okay. If he was murdered, I don't know. How How did he die? She said her name that. is Pat Hill. Oh. Okay, do I think I know this person? Anyway, I think I do. But, uh... You can give her my phone number. You can go to my Facebook page and contact me. Um, my go phone to her number. Facebook page is Cindy Martin, C-I-N-D-Y, 
M A R T I N and uh Or Lemons to Lemonade. And she can uh, Cindy but Cindy, Cindy, can you say something right now in case she's listening to to let her know that it will eventually she will eventually heal or she will eventually I don't know because I could see it in her eyes because this just happened November of last year. Right. So she is hurting really, really bad mm-hmm. because it was suddenly, you know, and I just really hurt for my sister. I understand. I understand. Well, we're going to have Cindy. And for everybody, all the mothers that have lost a, mm-hmm. a son, and just to hear you, I'm so glad I found the station because I, I have a TV with an antenna, so I really just found the station this morning, oh, and nice. you happen to be on. So, Cindy, please, could you say something before you leave the station to the mothers? Can I say who it now? Are yeah. hurting so bad that it's a hurt, and as you can see, <laughs> it, I'm hurting. I can tell now. Mm. Oh, well, I tell you what, then, when you hang up, I want you to listen. Cindy want to talk to you and your sister, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Uh, Cindy, go ahead. What, what would you like to say to this family? I want to encourage her and every other mother and families to, to stay strong. Right now, she's walking this or riding this emotional roller coaster, and you never know which path you're going to take. You don't know who's supporting you, who's not supporting you. I encourage her to get with another mother. There's somebody else, I don't know how she lost her child, but there's somebody else that's sharing that same, that can share that same experience, whether the child died of cancer, suicide, COVID, or murder. For some reason, mothers who have lost a child to murder, they gravitate to me. But my organization, Limits Eliminate, is for any mother who shared a common core experience of grieving right. death of a child. I don't want her to go into a mourning and she might not even know it that she's you know going in that deep because it sounds like that she's not able to deal with that mm-hmm. and some of us need counseling and but the best counseling is being around a mother especially one who has suffered this pain longer than you have absolutely and so that's what i do and that's how i've learned um from other mothers most of them that have suffered this pain um or lost their child way before me Absolutely. And then I'm a licensed cosmetologist, so I come in contact with mothers all the time. You I'm do. part of their self-care, and that's what she's going to need, too. Um, she might have stopped doing things that she used to do a long time ago. She probably need to go back to doing those things. She's going to need a lot of new friends, and I can introduce her to a lot of new friends. Oh, wow. Now, see, Cindy, uh, uh, we're going to make sure that your information is given out throughout mm-hmm. this show that for people just like that with her son, her, the lady's name is Pat, mm-hmm. uh, that needs that help. And uh, don't go anywhere because uh, if you would like to be a part of this conversation, if you are dealing with a loss, Cindy's here. I want to connect you with somebody that can help you get through mm-hmm. what you're going through. Mm-hmm. So you're not alone. 850-432-7768. Do call us up and we'll be right back with more right here on Sunshine's Corner. I just remembered it's election day. Are you going to vote? I don't know. I don't think I'll have time today. Millions of eligible voters in America never make it to the polls or even register to vote. When you don't vote, you're letting other people make decisions for you and pick the things your taxes will pay for. Voting is more than a civic duty. It gives you a voice about the priorities and the future of your community and our nation. Voting gives you a seat at the table. Hey, fellas. My name is Daniel Denny, owner of the Men's Clinic. And if you're suffering from ED and the bedroom has become your worst nightmare, where you no longer have the self-confidence you used to have, it doesn't have to be that way. We can help. You're not alone. We have over a 90 plus percent success ratio with our patients. I'm so confident you'll be pleased with the results that if we can help you, there's no charge for the office visit. I'll personally cover it. The Reesburg Institute, Pensacola's Ear, Nose, Throat, and Voice Center. We welcome you to visit us at our convenient Davis Highway location in Pensacola. At the Reesburg Institute, we offer the most advanced treatment available in a calm, stress-free environment. Since 2014, we've performed over a thousand cases in office of balloon sinus surgery, as well as septoplasty and nasal procedures using oral sedation. The in-office procedures result in a faster healing time. Visit us and feel the difference. Hello, my name is Eric, and this was my first visit to Little John's. The selection, 
uh, the pricing here and the customer service were outstanding. I would definitely recommend. Uh, the staff was very friendly and they'll get you what you need. Hi, this is John with Little John's Big and Tall here in Pensacola, Florida at 5700 North Davis Highway. Check us out at littlejohnsbigandtall.com where we can take care of you with extra large up to 14X and large tall to 6X tall. Uh, who was the last person? Wow, we are back to the hottest <laughs> spot there is. I'm sitting here and Cindy is just sitting and chills through me. Call us up and be a part of this conversation, 850-432-7768. Now, she was telling me how she had, who she met through, uh, I did not know that. Yes. Tell about these people that you met that who you had sessions with. I was stuck in a depression for seven whole years. I was at an event retreat uh, with the Circle of Mothers uh, under the Trayvon Martin Foundation in Miami, Florida. And I met with Ayala Van Zandt, Fixed My Life. She lost a child. I know. And so she was just telling us that, um, told me I don't have to deal with my depression. She said, just because you were diagnosed with depression, you can come out of that. And right. I was delivered out of depression through her presence. It was like, you know, we were praying and everything and just her speaking to me. I just couldn't believe I'm sitting here with Ayala Van Zandt. I'm sitting here, you know what I'm saying? And she's able to coach me. Like but I'm, she's been through that. She's been through that. And so she's able to tell me. She said, um, it'll get better around the 12th year is what she said. I'll never forget. And she said that whatever you holding in is gonna do something to the inside of your body. Whether it be high blood pressure, diabetes, your kidneys will fail, all that, but you got to walk it out. You can't hold it in. So did you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? If you're dealing with this, don't hold it on the end because it's gonna affect the entire body. Yeah. And there are things that you've gotta to learn to do. That's why on your event, she's got people, she's gonna have a session that's gonna be talked with, with the mothers mm -hmm. before Special session. A special session that's gonna be talked with. You see, with the, you've got, I mean, look at the people that's gonna be at this event. And Taxi I, Lambert, she's gonna tell her story of how her son, now her daughter at the age of 12 was murdered. At the age of 12? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's got a story. And we'll let her tell it. But exactly, it's we'll let her tell it. Something that everybody needs to hear because it's dealing with um, I, I, family yeah, I, issue, a family. You know what I'm saying? But they lost a 12 year old child. Uh -huh. Lord have mercy. Yeah. And it, it, it's okay. This young lady, uh, she's going to need volunteers for this event. Yes. She's going to need help in many areas. So I even after the you. event, huh? Even after the event, and I want them to send mothers to me. So we Absolutely. Can, we, got, we, can, we, we can make this change. We're going to be the change agents, and we are going to do this in the name of our sons and daughters. That's how we're going to create this legacy. No From doubt. From there, the loss of them. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm watching the program right now uh, on Blab TV. And I just want to say to Cindy that I'm very proud of her and this and what she's doing. And I would like to make a donation. Oh, thank you. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, how can she get in touch with you? Write down the phone number. How, how can she, she can get, get in touch? She can get in touch with me by eight five zero four one seven two six seven seven. Oh, how uh, thank you so 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 very much. I'll make sure she has this. Okay. Th thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Everybody, listen up. Uh, well, Cindy's going to need a lot of help with this, and I tell you, Cindy, this hour is just about gone. Can you believe that? Oh, wow. And you were afraid. Me, oh, my God, I can't talk for an hour. Look, we've run out of time, and people are st still want to reach out. so much to say. they got so much to say. So mm -hmm. you've got to put this in. You will have to come back uh -huh. so we can talk about this more because I believe the more we talk about it, and mothers... If you are dealing with something like this, mm -hmm. a situation where you feel like mm -hmm. you're going through this mourning process, mm -hmm. let's come out of that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Cindy has ways and contacts that people are there willing to help you. Now, I want to put this on your mind as well. She needs help for this event that's coming up in August. Now, if you'd like to volunteer, you'd like to make a donation, please do. Reach out to Cindy on her Facebook page at Cindy Martin, that's C-I-N-D-Y-M-A-R-T-I-N, mm -hmm. or go from to Lemons to Lemonade. Oh, yeah. And you can also reach out to her that way and uh, be that person that can uh, 
she needs the help. I'm going to do all I can to help you mm -hmm. to get this word out. If I can, whatever I can do, Cindy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just a phone call away. Thank you. So and I, much. Uh, you will be back because I want to get the closer we get because this is mm -hmm. an important issue that we need to talk even more about. Mm -hmm. Instead of holding this in, the hour was not enough time to get this all the message out that we're trying to get. But I mm -hmm. do want you to mark this down on your calendar. You've seen this come up on your screen all day. It's going to be taking place on Saturday, August the 3rd from 6 until 8.30 p.m. It's going to be there at Brownsville Community Center. Free gun violence awareness event connecting the change. Don't be that missing link. Wow. Uh, Sabrina Fulton, Trayvon's Martin mother, she's going to be here to speak. We've got uh, Terry Marshall's going to be there. we got Taxi Lambert's going to be there mm -hmm. with success stories. Sim uh, Cindy, of course, and our good friend, Hassan Hill, he's going to mm -hmm. be there as well. So please, ladies and gentlemen, you keep it locked in right here because this is what this show is designed for, to be the voice in the community, to be that voice that we don't have. This is what we're going to do every single day. And I want to say to everybody that's finding us, lock us in because every day we're going to keep you up on what's important in our community collectively so we can make change. Change is necessary. Sometimes it does not feel good, but that's how we get through the next level. Thank you so much for passing the word to tell everybody. The growth of this show is absolutely amazing. This is what we've needed, and I thank God for connecting these links that, uh, to mm -hmm. get this chain here so we can make a right, change. Right. And Cindy, thank you for coming in this thank morning. I will have you me. back. Oh, of course, and mm -hmm. you will be invited again. Okay. Yeah. As I leave you every day, my dear friends, I want you to remember this, and I mean this from the bottom of my great big old heart. Never, ever, ever lose your focus. Always remember to keep God first in whatever you do. If you seek his ways, I guarantee you, you're going to be a total success. So until tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock for another day of sunshine and information right here at your connection, know that I love you with a perfect kind of love. Keep shining while I'm gone. Thank you, Cindy, for getting up. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.